Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com. Uh, nightly wrap up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well, right? Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Cheers. Hope everybody is living life and, um, you know, having the best, wonderful experience that life can uh, offer. If you are brand new, guys, thank you again for tuning in, spending a couple of minutes with us. Uh, the only thing we ask is if you could be just so kind, take one second, click a like for your boy, share, subscribe, and again, we'll just continue to give you day-to-day, -day, okay, day-to-day -day, um, unbiased technical analysis. So, where do we begin? All right, might as well begin with Tesla. So, last night, well, if you've been watching this broadcast for the last two weeks, Tesla's been stuck in this damn channel. And yesterday, I had enough. I had enough. I said, this is it. I had enough. I said, I'm not talking about this damn thing until it either takes out the 65-day supply or it takes down the 50-day moving average. That's it. I don't care. I'm throwing up my hands. I'm taking a stand. Damn it. That's it. I'm ignoring the hot girl. Right? Last night's video. If you would turn into last night's video, I said, I'm going to try a new approach. I'm going to avoid the hot girl and make her be so interested that she's going to come calling to me, right? That's called fantasy world, by the way. But anyway, we were sitting there today at morning strategy. Ted Tesla was doing absolutely nothing, nothing. Just absolutely nothing. We're sitting there, 174, 175, like nothing. And then all of a sudden, you get this pretty big candle on some sort of China news. Whatever. Who cares? I've seen this movie before. And you know what happened? It got rejected again off supply, and it started coming in. I was like, all right, this is nonsense. Guys, leave me alone with this stupid thing. And then it stopped going down. And the most important part was I was getting intrigued because every single time the future is starting to get hit, at least in the middle of the morning, there was actually a reload buyer in the stock, and they kept on bidding it and bidding it and bidding it. And I said, is it possible we could actually possibly get a move today? And we sat there and sat there and sat there for two weeks without, you know, with, without any type of price appreciation, pulling out our hair. We knew 180 to the upside, 171, what was it? 171, 43 to the downside, 65 day confirmation, 50 day confirmation. And then finally, after ignoring the hot shit, we get the phone call and yada, yada, yada. Here we are. It's very, very rare that you get a measured potential move coming out of a channel in one day. Today, we got the day. Today, we got the day. And once it finally took down the 180 level, okay, once it literally took down the 180 level, we started seeing, number one, there was no downtick in the trade. There was literally, for anybody who bought the stock, it confirmed roughly around lunchtime, Anybody who traded Tesla today, there wasn't a downtick, okay? There wasn't, a, it never saw 180 again. It took out 180, it paused there for like 30 seconds. Then you started seeing September 9, uh, September 205 calls coming in over and over and over again. And then they started coming in for the 180, 180, 185, 190 weeklies, 185, 190 e-weeklies over and over and over again. And this was a stairway to heaven, man. Take a look. This is where it broke, right? This is where it broke above the 180 level. Excuse me, right here. Broke above the 180 level. And it just didn't look at Right now, it's still a little bit of profit taking. But this was a measure potential move to this 187. Maybe I should try this with every single setup that I'm looking at for the next day. I'm just going to ignore, right? Until the stock actually wakes up. But honestly, all jokes aside, this was absolutely phenomenal. I'm holding a tiny, tiny little runner. The next big area, the next big area where I want to go back in with pretty decent size is not the move from here 
uh, from here to here. You know, it's going to be above here, above this whole area here that started in February. And once it starts getting above this whole macro channel, I mean, going all the way back to February, this is where the stock can light, you know, to light up. Uh, what I plan to do with obviously, you know, use break even as my stop with my runner. I got again, a very, very tidy runner. Can we find some pivots? Absolutely. I mean, I, in my opinion, I think now the key to Tesla is any dips into rising 60 minute support. Uh, for all you guys who don't trade on the 60 minute channel, that's the whole point of the PS60 theory uh, that we live broadcast every single day. There's no editing. <laughs> I don't know what social media does, but we trade live every single day. There's no editing. There's no wishy-washy. It's you, you trade in real time. You live in real time. You breathe in real time. Everything needs to be real time. And the most important part is uh, the whole premise of the PS60 theory is stocks trade from supply to supply. So here is an area of 65 days supply and it traded to the next supply zone to the 100 day EMA. Didn't stop here by accident. That was the next measure of potential. Um, I would love to see a little bit of profit taking in the next day or so, so we can get a little bit cheaper shares uh, into rising 60 minutes support. Because realistically, if it does confirm it, again, listen, is it possible it confirms uh, the 100 day EMA tomorrow? and sees 190, 192, yeah, that'd be great. I have, I have nothing wrong with that. But the point is, I would like to see it, because today's Tuesday, right? I would like to see it, you know, having maybe an inside day tomorrow, maybe sell off two, three, four dollars $4, get us cheap shares into rising 60 minutes support, trap eager shorts, and work our way back to the top of the channel. But eventually, at some point this week, I really, I really would like to see uh, today's channel get confirmed, market gods listening, maybe tomorrow, but I'd like to see maybe a couple of days worth of sideways action. And once it reclaims the 100 day, that's when we start charging into that 199 highs uh, that we saw from April the 29th. But honestly, man, this is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. That's it, right? That's it. That's all we got to talk about that. Other than that, uh, Hood, you know, Hood last night, right? Hood last night. So I was, you know, I was recording the video. Hood was down like 10 cents last night, did absolutely nothing. And then the next thing you know, I stopped recording the video. I went swimming yesterday and I go and I text a, you know, but a bunch of people in the, in the webinar. I'm like, yo, is, is this thing really trading above 21 after hours? Because, you know, I was they're like, yeah. And I came back. The thing was up at almost a dollar, uh, almost a dollar last night after the close. I got rid of basically 80% of my position, kept 20%, got stopped out, unfortunately, today, break even. But honestly, I like the I like the way it's acting. Let's keep an eye on this thing for the next uh, couple of days on uh, Robinhood. The big story for tomorrow is Nvidia, obviously, right? If you trade technology, um, I mean, look, this is this is the last one, right? This is the last one, um, you know, without possibly having any handicapping or opinion involved. Two things are going to happen tomorrow, right? This is really groundbreaking earth-shattering information about the lay down on you guys, right? You don't get this information everywhere else. It's either going to go on earnings or it's not, right? And the reason why I say that, look, it's a crapshoot, right? It, it's an absolute crapshoot tomorrow. Again, it's either going to be uh, a meta situation, great earnings and sell off because of, of a magical run, or it's going to be a Google situation. Hey, good earnings and continue to go higher. That's all it is. So before you waste your entire day tomorrow or tonight with some random sh random schmucks on social media debating about AI chips and this and that and China and this, remember, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody knows. Nobody cares. And whatever's going to happen tomorrow, it's going to happen tomorrow. But tomorrow, as far as a game plan goes, I, I don't want to chase it into stroke tomorrow. But I definitely, definitely want to use any type of weakness tomorrow. Again, same thing kind of as Tesla into rising 60 minutes support. And if we can trap, right, some traps, some, for, I don't know, for whatever eager shorts out of the earnings, I do think there will be at least one run up into the close that could potentially squeeze and give us a trade. But taking it overnight into earnings, I would rather literally do, you know, deep knee bends in a cucumber patch. Don't did any, bro. Yeah, I sent it. But all jokes aside, you know, it's crapshoot. We'll see what happens with NVIDIA. Uh, obviously, the market continues to shine. Again, market continues to grind. Microsoft today went absolutely bonkers. Uh, yearly highs being confirmed. 
watch this thing for tomorrow. Same, you know, same, um, you know, same thing as Tesla, Nvidia. Use any weakness for rising support to catch a trade, or if it reclaims today's channel, uh, looks really, really good. Other than that, you know, Apple continues to grind, right? Apple continues to grind. Google continues to grind. I mean, it's just it, it's a good market, guys. It's a really, really good market, and it all started so innocently. And again, if you're the first time watching this broadcast, just all we needed to do is reclaim back that 50-day moving average. Remember how innocent it was? And we kept about talking about the 50, 50, 50, risk on the 50, risk off below the 50. Well, here's the point of the 50-day, and this is where we are right now. Um, you know, some names look really good for tomorrow. Uh, let me give you guys some ideas uh, for tomorrow, and let me, you know, we'll talk about the, obviously the pivots here in a second. Uh, let me give you guys some ideas for tomorrow. All right, let me give you guys some ideas for tomorrow. Look at Canada Goose, the damn thing. I'm the only one in the house that doesn't have a Canada Goose coat. I refuse to spend the money, but my kids, wife, whatever. Uh, shit never goes on sale. There's a reason why. Uh, watch this thing in the next couple of days. If this thing starts getting above the February highs and confirms earnings. This thing is a start next leg up. This thing looks really good. Uh, Microsoft, we talked about on dips. Guys, look at this EMVX. Nice looking chart. Really, really nice looking chart. It gapped up about a month ago, going sideways. All this thing needs to do is reclaim, right? Reclaim the 200-day moving average. And this thing could really, really wake up. Beautiful looking chart. I don't know what the hell this thing does. It could do donuts. It could make ashtrays maybe it's a biotech who that knows but the chart itself looks beautiful so let's get into today's pivots so nvax we talked about nvax last night 15 needs to build nice pop give a 60 cent pop right at the open uh again congratulations for all you guys that took it nice little pop here 60 cent pop on a 15 dollar stock is that good is that bad i don't know right i don't know but again nice little pop here CLSK, we talked about last night as well. 1853 needs to build. Here's another, uh, you know, again, another 50 cent pop on CLSK. Again, is that a big move? Is that a small move for $18, $15 stock? I don't know, right? But again, it is what it is. Um, AMD, we're still watching. Mara, I was watching, didn't confirm. Obviously, this was the, this was the big one, right? This was obviously the big one. Uh, Tesla, 180 upside. I mean, these numbers, anybody who's been in the live webinar for the last even three weeks just knew these numbers. 180 to the upside, 171.43. I think at some point, people got like nervous twitches when they were sleeping in the middle of their night. 180, 180, 173, right? So we, everybody knew these numbers. This, this, this was the poorest kept secret on the whole planet. It finally got above 180. It stopped perfectly into that 187 supply. And as a joke, I said, look, just set an alert to go. There's no reason to watch this thing every single day until it confirms. The hot girl answered the call. Great job there. Uh, again, here's the whole point of rising support, right? I go for experienced traders, 938 remount off the lower Bollinger Band, right? Remount means dip by in layman's terms. So NVIDIA got below this 938 level, traded down to like 930, whatever it was, 32, 33, remounted the 938, and close da 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 close at 9.53. That's the whole point of buying strong stocks into rising 60 minutes support. You know, I actually put game GameStop on the wall on 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 the pivot feed today. It never got close to there. I was like, all right, listen, we reversed yesterday, got some out of the money call buying, blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares. Um never came close to even confirming. And that's it. That's it. And basically, that was the last thing. Uh, last thing I uh, talked about. I go. I'm getting down to 10% into the close. Here comes 187. So that's it, guys. That is it. Look, if you're interested in pivots, um, there's there's no there's nothing you know there's nothing creative about this. It, it's literally the most bare bones of technical analysis. Just a twist of the PS60 theory. PS60 theory is is driven on technical analysis. It's just the same way you would trade Fibonacci's, the same way you would trade Pitchfork and Fibs uh, and VWAP, whatever the case may be. This is just my personal twist. Supply gets taken, the stock goes higher. Demand gets taken, the stock goes lower. If you are interested, we got a 30-day 
uh, 30-day kick-the-tire type of scenario. If you trade mega cap stocks, hell, if you trade anything that has a range, whether it's Bitcoin, crypto, whatever the case may be, it does work on any asset class that has expansion and real volume. If you are interested, the link is in the comments. If you're not interested, hey, again, we could always be social media friends. Anyway, guys, cheers. Good job today. And God's help, I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.